working with Dagger Lego on an open source workshop. Uh, so what we have today, we will have um, some news and talk about events, and then we'll talk about um, lightning talk. And the person who's doing the lightning talk will be coming very soon. And then the KVM, and then um, will be uh, presented by Alain. Okay. So and then the last one will be um, WebMaker and also the Buffer OS phone, and then will be introduced by uh, Sammy. Okay. And then we will have. Uh, Discussions? Okay, so for those who um, haven't got it yet, is you can get a Wi-Fi connection here. Um, so first connect to that, that one. Um, haven't got any encryption, any password, but of course when you try to browse any website, then it will ask for password and the password is something like this. Okay, so you can try that. Okay, so um, okay, so so what happens? Okay, so I think um, we're up to the news. I think I would like to recommend. Um, no, this is um, this is a past event. Okay, so actually, what happens is there is something called the Open Data Hackathon, which means um, about up to something like um, forty or fifty people actually came together for a weekend and then go to somewhere called the Good Lab and then uh, work on different topics. Okay, so what have they done? Oops, I just went out of the way. Oops. Okay, so there are a number of projects that they've done. They've done, um, oops. okay, so what they've done is um, Different data. So the government actually have something, some open data called uh, uh, data.1, and some of us actually work on that, yes. But others actually work on other um, available projects. Oops. Okay, see how it goes. So we have uh, many different topics. One of them is, um, you know, yes, the government has some open data, but that's not enough. For example, we have the Legislative Council, but unfortunately, all the data in the Legislative Council is not easily, you know, uh, machine readable. There are a lot of talk, uh, talk about, for example, um, different, ooh, this, I like it. Okay, anyway. Um, if you go to um, open data and go to the project, you can see it actually. So uh, there are many different interesting projects that's been done on that day, and so I would encourage you to browse through the projects. Okay. So that. And the next thing, okay, the next thing would be um, the another past event that happens in Asia um, is the genome dot. Okay, so what happens is, um, actually genome is a desktop environment on Linux. Of course, some may say, oh, genome free, it is not that good, but actually it's, it's um, gaining uh, more acceptance. So we have uh, a conference just last week in Seoul, and then um, and there are actually a number of people Attending, including myself and Sammy, we went to show and then um, actually we talk about different issues and, and so these are the photos. Okay, so 
different people went there, like Sammy, and, and he's trying to find a, a raw chili, and he requests a little bit because it's too strong. And so, and we got to meet with different people from Asia, and also, for example, here is Karen, who's now the executive director of Genome. Okay, and so, and, and so you can go through. Um, I think the video, of course, is not quite there yet, but but um, you can check the schedule and then and check up later on. They will put up the video in there very quickly, hopefully. Okay, so these are the topics, and then um, I hope they will put up the video. And also a few things that I find out. For example. One. For example, yes, I think um, I think the really figurehead of um, Lin Linux, Linus Torvald, he complains a lot about Genome, but now he end up using it because it uh, Genome uh, is um, the Genome 3.8 particularly is um, doing quite well, I think. It's, uh, so, and also another. Interesting thing would be um, wait. Let me check on the desktop. Uh, oops, that's it. And also, actually, because today we talk about Firefox OS, that um, Actually, we talk about Firefox OS, and of course, there are other systems that um, actually can be employed on the phone and on other, um, you know, not just the iOS and not just um, the, um, not just the um, Android. So, I think there's also something called the Tyson, which is, um, and also. It's actually roughly on the same date with the Genome Conference, Asia Conference, that they had the Tyson, uh, Tyson Conference in San Francisco, and Intel actually put up this, you know, i7. Well, ultrabook not very um, interesting, but what's inside is interesting. Okay, so we have something like this, and if you use Genome, you find this um, icon's quite uh, familiar, actually. What Tyson is doing, they are build, building a shell, building a shell upon the, um, the genome shell. Okay, so. Okay, and so as you can see, some of the icons are quite familiar, and then uh, and also they have Steam on it, and then a uh, ribbon box and so on, and so. And so they have um, you know, the standard thing, audio using the, the pulse audio and so on. And then um, you can see actually there's something a bit funny. These are the widgets where they add in. It's using genome free extension, using JavaScript and so on. And of course the most important thing is when we it be solved? I don't know, it's just a demo, okay? Mm -hmm. and, we, and hope that it will end up in the market someday, okay? And then how can you get it? Uh, it is the new Tyson uh, Tyson 3.0, but um, the current available version is 2.1. So please wait and see when they will make it open source. Okay, so that's one news. Okay, so you can actually um, search for Tyson and then uh, genome free, and then you will get those news items. Okay, so. So, that's done. Okay, so what time do we have? Oh, we have a lot of time, right? Okay, and also, some, it's not quite, um, it's not really very recent news, but I think all of you, uh, at least most, 
some of you will know that um, people don't like Windows 8. Okay, mm -hmm. I think a lot of you try to hang on to Windows 7. Okay, so if you have friends like this, you can recommend them to go to this. <laughs> it's called a closed window open door. Okay, so tell them that um, the window is locked from the outside, it's not open source, and then it got problems. For example, when you install some software, the headquarters of Microsoft will know. And also, some of their um, practice in terms of privacy is no good. For example, if you have administrative rights, there are ways that it's not too hard you can find out the password of other users. Okay, so there are reports like that. So, and so, um, if you have the, the, um, the um, Linux, okay, so it's free software, you have the freedom, um, and also, um, you don't have to, you know, wait for Microsoft or wait for um, Apple's to do anything, and also, and so you can recommend your friend to go to there and look at this um, this information and decide for themselves. Okay, so this is not very recent news, but it's just good to know. Okay, so ah. Amanda is here, right? So she would be the most qualified person to, to talk about this. Anyway, I will talk about this. Amanda is the head of the uh, legal user group in Hong Kong. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So yes. So other than uh, other than what I just mentioned, the Tarsen, and also there's um, Jola. And Jola actually have. Um, have a branch of it in Hong Kong, right? Mm -hmm. In Southern Hall? Yeah. So anyone visit that? Mm -hmm. No? So they don't come to us as well, right? <laughs> so actually, so... Um, we may approach them. What? We may approach them. Okay, so what happens is now you can buy uh, that first phone, okay? So, and then... Um, okay, so the first phone is something like this. So, yes? So it's just a news item. I would recommend you to go through this at your own time. And, um, and then you can go to the website and order it. Are there two models or one model? Just one model. Just one model. But okay. there are other gifts, gift bags. So the phone is actually of two parts. One is the main uh, major uh, display and CPU. Another one is the other part um, is another back cover that you can add different features to it. So there are different back covers, uh, the other part back cover that you can buy. Okay. Um, but they don't have any details on it. Yet, so. Okay, so um, please look that up. And um, I think that's also very interesting as well. Okay, now something that um, to finish up, something to laugh about, okay? So it's not quite really, you know, open source, so it's the broader, um, the free um, culture thing. Okay, so, yes, so um, there is, uh, basically what happens is, um, the French uh, intelligence, they find out there is an article, actually just about a certain radio station that, um, Used by the military, nobody really cares about that piece of information, <laughs> but they really make it really very bad. Okay, they find out that they don't like it, and then they find they, in order to make this piece of information disappear on the web, they uh, bring someone who's only a volunteer, who have you know, uh, high more hiring, higher ed editing right in the uh, Wikipedia community got him and say that he had to help the uh, military to delete that article, okay? And otherwise, they would not let him go, okay? So what happened is that, oh, I would just delete it, you know? But, you know, anyone can turn it back, right? Because it's a version of the system. And then this make, uh, you know, um, news um, all the way to this, even this room, 
And then, um, and then I think one thing that uh, we have to fight against would be a lot of people still don't understand this idea of free and open. That you know. And on the other hand, of course, people laugh because actually anyone can edit Wikipedia. They can just make that page blank. They don't have to bring in anyone to delete that page. Okay. <laughs> so, but of course, still that page is still alive and attracts a lot and lots of uh, attention and lots of hits. Okay. So that is, um, yes, so that's, um, I think, the end of the news. Okay, so, anyone think there's also something interesting worth mentioning? If not, then we will ask our, ask our uh, um, lightning talk um, guests. Oh. So maybe, maybe it will take uh, five to ten minutes to prepare. Okay. And oh. I will go on to talk about the construct. A construct, yes. And we will talk about the open source commons. Yes. Open source conference. Okay, so open source conference. Yes, actually, um, every year about September or so, um, we will have an open source event. Usually, it's in the name of um, the um, so uh, Software Freedom Day. Yeah. But um, this year, we want to make it bigger. It's called the open source conference, and we will um, call for different people to contribute because usually um, in Previous events, we invite people to talk, but we, I think, we will do a proper um, call for paper this year, and and see and hope that we will have uh, more topics um, on free and open source. So that will be something like uh, September or um, October. Okay, so we will have more um, announcement to make uh, later on. Yeah, um, and it will be something like uh, cons come. We would like to have a local version of Conscom in Hong Kong. Yeah. So, so this this our our idea to make uh, to to start uh, open source company this year. And, yeah. And for for Conscom, uh, what is Conscom? Is uh, this is the largest uh, open source conference in Taipei. Uh, is a uh, is a uh, over uh, one thousand. 500 participants in the past three years. And uh, let me open my slide first. My slide, my slide. My slide here. China. 
Um, actually, uh, uh, last slide, uh, the, uh, the first uh, state is released on console website. Um, uh, so, uh, many uh, open source community in Taiwan uh, is, is developing in uh, console. Uh, Drupal, JavaScript, Mozilla, Python, all of the, the and also uh, they have a um, movement of uh, uh, free and open source software. <coughs> yeah. and, um, and my hopes that you will join us to go to Taipei this year, and uh, at least uh, in, uh, at least in this room, I am also one that will will visit concert yeah, this year. Um, um, <coughs> and um, we hope that you may consider to submit proposal next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, actually, yes, uh, very difficult to get a ticket for uh, Taiwan friends because all one thousand stickers is. Uh, uh, we're always gone in uh, 13 minutes for the start of online reservations and it would be it could be shorter with the online systems uh, can 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 offer uh, more concurrent connections yeah so that is very crazy to fight for ticket yeah so for over C participants you may apply for the uh, scheme for open source uh, contributors theaters yes uh, we call that as uh, yes, VIP ticket yeah and yes you yeah, just enter but <laughs> if you are interested you may contact with me and I will try to get a ticket for you yeah <laughs> and yeah this is the end of my slide actually yes my slide is someone from the government to talk about open data um, uh, and uh, you will see that we have, uh, we have uh, different topics in, from different communities so this one is from the most from the most from the most most communities and um, I will I will also give a talk in uh, concert this year and uh, some uh, here, here is some uh, some topics from open lab is a uh, hacker space in uh, Taiwan and um, open street and let me see and uh, I, uh, I think transfer will be interested that uh, here is a some uh, our topics yeah mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. 
And now it is, uh, it is uh, our, uh, our latent custom sessions. And um, with you have uh, anything, any any topic related uh, open source you would like to share with us? You can help me then. Left Uh, the number one rules of data recovery 
it's not to write any new data on the micro SD card. Yeah. Uh, but if you put a SD card uh, into your computer's uh, card reader, you will have the risk of writing anything into the micro SD card. Uh, either intentionally say you copy a new file on, 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 the, on your SD card or accidentally. For example, if you are unlucky enough to use a Mac, the Mac will be written some metadata onto your directory in the, in the micro SD card, something like a DS store or something string things, but you didn't notice it. But actually, it is trying to write some new data on, on the micro SD card. If you're writing more new data on your micro SD card, your uh, you, your you from, your, from 